Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can sync Active Campaign with Outlook so that all those contacts you have in Outlook, everybody you've been emailing in there already can get sent right into Active Campaign. You can drop them out on automation. And also any leads you have currently in Active Campaign can be pushed into Outlook and update your address book there. It's a great way to be more productive using these two apps as one. Let me show you how to set it up. The first thing you're going to do is go to apination.com. You're going to click on Discover Connections. Here you're going to see a ton of different apps, marketing apps, real estate apps, productivity apps. I'm going to scroll on down until I get to Outlook. O for Outlook, L-M-N-O, there it is. Click on that. And I can see all the integrations I can sync with Outlook. So I can save some time by sending contacts automatically back and forth between Outlook and any of these apps down here. I'm going to set it up with active campaign today and click on that. It's going to show me the integrations available for Outlook in Active Campaign. You can see there's two available. We can send them from Active Campaign into Outlook and Outlook back to Active Campaign. You can see we have a flat rate price up at the top, and that covers every sync on this page. So if you want to set up one of these syncs, one direction, if you want to set up both, both directions, if you want to set this sync up multiple times with slightly different rules, it's all going to be the same flat rate price doesn't matter how many different syncs you set up between these two apps. I'm going to just set up a two-way sync, get it started. So first I'm going to set up Outlook into Active Campaign. So I'm going to activate this. Step one to setting up these syncs is to sign into your API Nation account. If you don't have one, just click this link at the top to create one. Or you can sign in with your Google account, which I'm going to do here. All right, and the next step is to connect Outlook. So I'm going to hit this button and I'm just going to sign into Outlook. It looks like I'm signed in on this browser, so use those credentials. Next is to connect Active Campaign. Click the button, similar thing. A couple things that's asking for here a label for the connection, which is just a name for it. I'm just going to name it after me. If you're using multiple Active Campaign accounts, then you want to name them differently, you know, after different offices or after different uh, people, clients you're working for, maybe. But by and large, most people are only using one, so you can just name it after yourself. Uh, I also need a URL and a campaign key. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in Active Campaign to grab these. And here in Active Campaign, I'm just going to come down here to Settings and then find Developer. That's going to give me the URL and the key. So I'm going to copy the URL first, go back to API Nation, pop it in there, and go back and get the key as well. There we go, now we're gonna connect. Great, we're now connected. We're just gonna set up this sync. So a couple options here. First, we're gonna say, when we're syncing Outlook contacts into Active Campaign, who should we be sending? By default, we're just sending everybody. Uh, default is the, uh, the folder we're sending. If there's a specific folder you set up in Outlook and you say, this is my folder, everybody in this folder, I want to go to Active Campaign, you can select that here and that's what'll happen. Only people in that folder will end up in Active Campaign. We could also sync all contacts on first run. Most people want to do this in this uh, when they're setting up this sync. Basically, clicking this checkbox means that everybody you have in Outlook that's in this folder or in the default will get sent into Active Campaign when we start this up. If this box is unchecked, only new contacts we add from today going forward will get synced in. Most people want everybody in there, so they'll check that box. And then you can specify where in Active Campaign these are going. So you can choose a list. I'm going to send these over to new leads. You can select an automation. If you have an automation, you want to catch them. You can even put tags in there that you want applied as they arrive. Next, choose your plan. You can see you can choose yearly and save some money, or you can go with monthly. Go ahead and subscribe. And this is going to create your sync. We're going to do a final check before we hit this big button to activate it. Let's look. This all looks good. This is all exactly how we set it up on the last page. We also have this filter option. So if there's something more specific you wanna do, you can actually filter on any of the fields coming over from Outlook. So maybe if you only wanna put in people who have a special uh, phrase in the notes. So let's say phrase contains active campaign. You could do that. Just another way to trigger this thing so that it, it just looks through the notes in your Outlook contacts and if any of them say active campaign it puts them in the active campaign i'm going to clear this out we're sending over everybody finally we're going to come down here to mapping we do most of this for you you can see we're sending over email phone first name and last name all good ready to go let's go to the top activate the sync 
Cool. Sync is up and running. We're now sending contacts from Outlook in the active campaign. Let's go ahead and set up the converse sending active campaign back to Outlook. I'll just click on this active campaign logo to go out to active campaign syncs. You can see these are all the syncs available. And then we're just going to go to Outlook. All right, and you can see we have an active sync, the one we just set up together. Now we're going to do the opposite, active campaign to Office 365 or Outlook. Really conveniently, all the accounts we just set up are available to select for this sync so we don't have to go through and connect these again. Similar configuration options. Do I want to sync everybody from Active Campaign right now? Check the box. Or do I only want to sync people going forward in the future? Uncheck the box. As they come over from Active Campaign, do I want to send them into that special folder I've set up? So if I have an Active Campaign or a Lead Connector or anything else, if I have a folder set up in Outlook for these contacts, I can have these placed in that folder, or I can just have them pushed in default. It's gonna put them in Outlook. Keep my address book organized, keep my phone organized. It's a great way to do that. Also, do not overwrite information in Outlook. This is great. If you have a bunch of people in Outlook, they might also exist in Active Campaign. Instead of overriding Outlook with Active Campaign people, it's gonna look, and if it matches, it's just gonna fill in any blank information. Again, you can choose yearly or monthly and hit subscribe. So we've created this sync, same thing. You can come through here, do a final check, decide if you have another filter you wanna set up. This one is going to be looking at the active campaign fields. So if there's something coming over from active campaign, maybe you only wanna send over people from a certain automation. Maybe you only wanna send over people from a certain uh, date going forward or backwards. Definitely do that. And then the mapping again, first name, email, last name, if there's anything else you want to add, you'll just hit this plus sign, add it in there, you're ready to go. You can also just put in static text. So I can put in here, instead of you know putting in a field from Active Campaign, I can just write some text from Active Campaign. And then everybody who gets synced over through here will have this little note attached to them. This looks good, I'm going to activate the sync. Cool. Now, if you go to my syncs, I can see I have two syncs set up. It's a two-way sync, Active Campaign to Outlook, and Outlook back to Active Campaign. So that's it. Now my two apps are connected. Now all those contacts I have in Outlook can be pushed into Active Campaign. I can put them on some automations there, put them on some drip campaigns, start creating deals using the power of Active Campaign. And then any leads I have in Active Campaign that I haven't yet added to Outlook will get pushed into there, updating my phone, updating my Outlook account. It's a great way to be more productive without having to enter people into two different systems or juggle contact information or anything like that. If you have any questions or need any assistance, give us a phone call, shoot us an email. We're API Nation connecting the world's applications. We love doing this stuff.